Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Stain Gamers, and welcome. So today I want to show you my replica of the MQ-9 Reaper slash Predator drone. Now, this drone itself has been heavily used by the US military, and it's quite controversial, I'll tell you that. It's had some rather interesting incidents where pressing a button has removed a large part of a village. Well, moving away from that, let's actually talk about this replica itself. Now, the important thing about a UAV is its surveillance package, and we are packed to the brim with cameras. Just under the nose here, we have a fully 360 rotational camera, perfect for locking and tracking targets as they move around the aircraft as it orbits now up here in the nose tucked behind this glass is we have a secondary camera as well as the main antenna behind that we have a laser antenna so we can connect it up and pick up information if we lose the antenna signal now moving down the hull you can see we've actually got a number of folding landing gears and something i really wanted to do with this design is replicate how the landing gears actually fold very tightly within the hull so you can actually see this rear landing gear is actually bent to add better stability when it comes into land but this will actually straighten up in midair as the landing gears fold away and it'll have a very tight package now moving along the wing you can see we've got these massive missiles and they're really there just to replicate the hellfire missiles but they are just dummy rockets that will fire straight ahead now tucked under here we actually have the guided rockets now the guided rockets in this particular build can be guided while you orbit from these side cameras here so you lock the target up and you can fire your guided missile and by firing that you'll send a missile straight into the target devastating it now we are using the aerodynamics mod so we've got the aerodynamic wings on the side here that can be a little bit flaky at times but we've got a very thin saw wing design but it does provide enough lift to keep the aircraft in the air now moving on top here, we have a reverse thruster. This reverse thruster is purely for taxiing and will be turned off in flight so we can get that realistic plane experience. And as we come to the back, we've got these narrow sort of fins and the bottom one actually adding to the aerodynamics. These two other ones not doing anything at all. And we have the large power pack at the back. I've got a target, a small village off in the distance over there. We're going to take this up and observe and try to take out a weapons cache. So the drone is fueled and ready. We're going to enter into the command bunker, seal up the door behind does and begin to control this thing so when i originally started developing this i had a projector that projected a picture of the actual uav onto this pedestal here but that caused a little bit of lag so i've disabled that for the moment so let's lay hop into here and we'll grab control of the uav so there's the mq9 we're going to take control by looking for the remote control block and we have the remote control block main now we're going to have to find its cameras that are all selected along the hood and we can actually begin taxiing this thing out so we've selected eight we're going to select nine and we'll begin moving this aircraft forward into a taxiing position. Now, it does require the whole runway to actually take off, so we're going to give it all the space we can actually get, and we'll move it into position. So we'll move it this way, and then we'll turn it back around. It does look so beautiful. I love plane replicas when you play in Space Engineers. I mean, it's such a space game, but you can do whatever you want in it, and that's what I just love about it. So we're going to give this a little bit of a turn ready to actually taxi and we'll test out the cameras to make sure everything's working as well so the final check we're just quickly running is of the surveillance camera making sure it's working we can see everything as we access so we've got full operation of that to make this work the best way possible i think you would need two operators one for surveillance and firing the weapons and one for flying just like they do in real life but let's actually connect back up to the mq9 and make sure we've got wheels ready to go so remote control block collecting back to eight okay and I think we'll begin the taxi procedure. So we're just going to give it a little bit of right. And we're going to have to access five and turn it off as we actually begin the flight. So let's go into first person. And we'll begin bringing up the speed. Okay, the wing should do most of the work for us once we get up to a higher speed. So I'm just going to push it up a little bit here. Just got to watch out for the bumps. Bring it into the air now. So it's actually into the air. I'm going to turn off the wheels. Make sure the wheels are good. So we're actually flying now. And we should maintain a constant speed. Okay, that's good. Grab the camera and chase after the actual aircraft itself. Okay, the drone's flying away. Let's access one and try to get our landing gears going away. Okay, landing gears are going up. Tucked away beautifully. Uh, we need to access that camera quickly because we're losing a bit of speed. Gain a bit of speed. And we'll bring it into a bank and start moving it towards the target location now. Okay, so let's bank it over. Landing gears are away. We don't need to fuss with that. We need to be very gentle still because we are using a very dangerous landing gear system so let's actually just tuck our hood away and we'll have a look through some of the other cameras as we're flying so we've got the right side 
Uh, we also have the center four and we have that side as well. So I've just got to remember which keys they are. So the target is just off in the distance there, as you can see. And what I'm going to do before we get there is actually access our hood and make sure I've got an aiming cursor on. So now we're actually beginning to orbit the target. We need to work out which of these locations, which of the buildings is the one that's holding the weapons cache. So this side of the village at the moment looks like it's got the most activity. We've got a number of ammunition crates going on over there. And this is why drones like this are perfect for your recon missions within sort of Space Engineers itself. You could obviously build something that looks a lot different and not like a real drone in real life. But just observing the target like this gives you a great idea. And if you zo use that zoom camera, you'll be able to see people walking around, moving stuff between different locations. As you can see from this just basic village setup, you can see that quite a lot of activity must be going on this side due to the trucks and the cargo containers being over there. On this side, we do have a car, but I don't think that car is actually involved in too much activity. It looks too civilian here. It doesn't really look like the rest of these vehicles that are carrying the crates. Anyway, let's just zoom out. So you can see we could even be out of range of any aircraft fire at the moment. We need to lock some rockets up and go in for a strafing run. Now, ideally, I would love it if I could lock the missiles from here and fire it. And if I do use some scripts, it could be done, but something I'll have to work on in future. So let's just switch to camera two and we'll power up the massive rockets that we've actually got on number six. So we've got four of these. We'll go into the strike on this side of the village. Like we said, we can bring a little bit of a zoom in here. We'll target that truck first. So the rockets are actually going in and we're just blowing a massive chunk of the village up. Let's target that truck again with a second volley. Okay, lovely. And now let's come in and just try to evade any fire that we get. So we've not got any fire by the look of it, just since it's an AI village that I've set up. So now with the mission complete, we're actually going to leave the target area. We've actually done quite a lot of significant damage. Let's actually fly over here, get back to the drone if we can. Now we've took a little bit of damage ourselves. We lost our main rear engine as we left that attack and we must have received some small arms fire or something. But we're going to have to land this back on the airstrip. Let's see if we've got all landing gears to actually do that. So we'll put our landing gears down and we'll also access our number five. That should bring the ship to a little bit of a slower speed for them landing gears to go down. Landing gears are going down successfully. Beautiful. Okay, now we need to slow this down, access the camera and come in for an actual angle of landing. Right, so we're coming in for landing at the main airstrip now. This is going to be a very delicate process. We have got a lot of speed. I'm going to hit number five, try to slow us down a little bit. I'm trying to do everything we can to slow us down. Okay, now just wheels up gently gently we're going to miss the strip a bit okay wheels have caught let's switch to f8 and see how our landing is actually going okay none of the wheels are damaged and Aaron needs to hit the brakes quite quickly is that thruster even on is that our rear thruster even on let's check that no it doesn't look like it's actually on thrusting so let's just check that okay it was on okay and it's bringing us to a stop not exactly inside the hangar but still what i would call a mission successful anyway this drone will be up on the workshop to have a play around with hopefully it's inspired some of your own builds and it was just quite a lot of fun building it anyway let's thank you guys for watching and i'll see you